For the first time, the U.S. Army is offering a maximum enlistment bonus of $50,000 for high-demand roles. The head of Army Recruiting Command says the competitive job market and COVID complications are posing significant recruiting challenges. Florida Congressman, Army vet, and National Guard Colonel Michael Waltz joins us now with reaction. Michael, I bet back in the day you would have liked to have had 50,000 uh, bucks. What does this say about where we are? Well, you know, I wore my own uh, recruiting platform today to, to try to help out. But here's the, in all seriousness, here's the issues. Uh, one, uh, the recruiters haven't had access to the schools because the schools have been shut down uh, for the last couple of years, particularly in the major inner cities. Uh, they also tend to host big job fairs, uh, these job fair-like events. They also haven't been able uh, to do that. And then even a broader societal issue is 70% of young people now don't have the basic qualifications to even enter the military. Either they have a yeah. criminal background, they have a drug abuse background, or sadly, they're just too out of shape to even meet the basic requirements. So all of that combined in a competitive job market is why you're seeing the, the military have to throw uh, this kind of money at the issue. But Brian, look, if you're ready to be an uh, airborne ranger and sign up for just six years, that's, that's 30 to 50,000 bucks for you, buddy. Uh, absolutely. I got to think about it. Maybe Fox wants a counter offer and we could be in a bidding war for my services. Uh, right now, the Army recruit is uh, 68,000 in 2019. 2021, there was 57,000. Their goal is 57,500. So they used to offer a 40,000 incentive uh, to do it. Uh, do you believe that the whole vaccination, get out, get vaxxed, or get out, is hurting the cause? Well, it doesn't help. I also think just the debacle and the stain on uh, on our country's conscience in Afghanistan uh, isn't helping either. But back to the vaccine piece, you know, the vast majority of the active duty, like 90, 70, 98 percent are now vaccinated, where the issue is, is in the National Guard right now, which is sitting around 60. Uh, their deadline is later. It's not until June. Uh, but that could be a massive blow. Uh, to our readiness. And as you know, the National Guard has been overworked the last couple of years between wildfires, hurricanes, COVID, and their overseas deployments. Uh, and the Pentagon's going to have to think twice. Fortunately, we got language in the last defense bill that tell, told them to incorporate natural immunity into their calculations. Well, we are so excited for you. Speaking of Army, we know that you and Julia just welcomed a baby boy and you named him Army. Yes. And I hope Julia's, Julia's doing well. <laughs> Nine pounds, five ounces. And there's his picture. He's so beautiful. Congratulations. How's it going? Oh, it's going, it's going great. You know, Julia has more combat tours than I do. Uh, so she's a trooper. He came, he hit the drop zone heavy at nine and a half pounds. Uh, but I have him here today, if that's okay, as a special guest. Uh, let's bring First little man appearance. over. And oh, we have him. Look at that. We have him uh, in full Army Ranger style here. So uh, uh, he's doing, look, he's doing great. Our hearts are full. And uh, I have the Army's newest recruit in just 18 years. Hey, uh, can I just say one thing, Michael? I don't think I believe he could do anything he wants to put his mind to, but I wouldn't put him in a morning show. His eyes aren't even open yet. So I don't think he's a morning guy. <laughs> yeah, no, not yet. But he, he's we're, we're doing our early morning PT right after this. So we'll, get him, we'll get him nice and awake. A handsome Aww. kid. That's, uh, yeah, okay, so you, you named your, you so your, your boy Army. Just out of curiosity, Michael, what were the backup names? <laughs> well, it's actually short for Armand, uh, which is uh, Arabic for hope. Uh, the Neshawat family, you know Dr. Jeanette Neshawat as well, uh, are actually descendants of J Jordanian immigrants. So it's hope in Arabic, but Army for short. Uh, and uh, there are no backups, uh, Steve. It's, <laughs> it's full speed ahead. Go, Ar go Army is taking tell on a new folks, meaning in the Waltz household. And tell the folks at home who your three sister, your two sister-in-laws are. Do you, what an incredible family y'all have. Well, my wife, Julia uh, Neshawat, uh, who has served in the State Department of the White House and combat tours in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, and, uh, of course, Dr. Jeanette Neshawat, Fox News medical contributor. Uh, you know, she has a lawyer uh, in, in Dina, um, 
10 uh, seconds Jacqueline, get the last one also been on yep. so it's uh it's an amazing family that i'm i'm blessed to have married into absolutely don't screw it up congratulations uh michael waltz good job and the waltz family and the neshawat right. family army right. salute you you army got salute it. you stay within yourself